Hello, hello everybody. Good morning, good morning. Come on in. We are gonna get started here. Hopefully we're still sort of on time. Um, how is everybody? Come on in. I am just gonna get us all set up here. We are pretty much set up anyway, but you know, all the things. Um, as you come in, let me know. You can hear me loud and clear and what you're up to today because it is a wonderful Wednesday. I'm just going to put that right there. Um, come on in. Come on in. Listen, we're going to have some fun. Let me see who's Miss Gail Dotson. Send me a note with your address. I want to send you a little note in the mail. Um, yay. Thank you for letting me know you can hear me. Huh. All right. A little bit frazzled this morning, as you can tell. Sorry, I keep putting my thumb in the way. I'm going to try to sit down woo, way down here. Well, my chair just fell. <laughs> That's just does wonders for your, um, for your uh, ego, right? When you sit down in your chair and, and the whole thing just drops to the ground. I mean, then you just feel really, really nice and skinny, right? Okay. Let's see. We are going to make a bow today. Uh, I hope you're excited. I know I am. And this is day three of my 100 days of live videos. So I'm so glad you guys are here. Today is the day we get to um, acknowledge our friends because I get to have comments on here because we are streaming in both my Facebook page and my YouTube uh, channel. So let me know which one you're watching from so that we can say hello to you. Hello, Miss Michelle. Good morning. Oh, Rosa's watching from YouTube. Good morning, Rosa. Hello, Irma. Thank you, Jill. I am feeling so much better. This is like the first day. I feel like I'm 99%. Like, and I would give it 100 except for, I feel like that might jinx it. So, <laughs> yes totally better today. Day three, we are winning the day. Um, thank you, Jill. Thank you so much for letting me know. All right, let's get started. We are going to make a bow. I'm turning on my glue gun. I remembered on my own. I'm turning on my glue gun. Sorry, y'all. Hold on. Let me fix the microphone. This, I don't want, I know it sounds terrible when I'm moving it around. Hold on. There, hopefully it won't make too much noises. I'm so sorry. Oh, I hate that I have to even have one. Um, okay, hello, Miss Andrea. Hello, Linda. Hello, Susan on YouTube, yay. You three are my YouTubers. I'm loving it. Thank you so much for being here. All right, I did not send out a text this morning because in all the rush, um, it just didn't happen. It just didn't happen. So hopefully you can start char uh, charging start um, not changing, but setting your clock to know when this time is so that you can be with us. Good morning, Miss Betty. We're so glad you're back. So glad you're back. All right, let's get started. We are going to make a bow. Let me pop my chair up a little bit, y'all. No, maybe I won't. Maybe I'll just point the camera down. Good morning, Monique. I'm so glad you're here. So here is a Here's, here's this. Um, let's see here, y'all. Let me see if I can get this where you can see the project and me, but I'm not sure it's super likely. I am wearing this cute little uh, top. I do still have some in the shop. Hi. <laughs> y'all, I'm going to work on getting a um, system in place where you can see me and the project. Um, but for now, this is this is where we're at. I'll try to like hold it up a lot and I'll point it down a little more. So, Becky, good morning, my girlfriend. Jatan, I'm so glad you're here, girl. It's been forever. Hey, Miss Kathy Reed. Hey, Terry. Hey, Carol. Hey, Darlene. I'm so glad you're here. Mary, watching from YouTube. We're so glad you could join us. Terry, welcome. All right, all right, my friends. Um, Jeton did this, and we do wanna do this. So if you haven't done this yet, 
Um, especially if you're on my Facebook page, do this so that our more of our friends can um, can see us. Laurie, yes, my voice is back. Christine, good morning. I'm so glad you could be here to join us. All right, you haven't missed a thing. We are just getting started. So what I wanna start with is showing you how you can actually make your own ribbon. So you know how there's so many cute ribbons out there and you know, I don't know if you're like me, but I, I, I love all the ribbons. I mean, clearly. <laughs> let me um, let me get out of the way and show you guys this. So if you're new to me, you may not have seen this before, but this is my ribbon um, display. I would just call it a display. Hey, Miss Kathy, I'm so glad you're here. Um, and so I do have this on the blog, so you can kind of order one of these shoe racks for yourself. It's just a shoe rack, and you can organize it if you want. Um, like I have, it's a little bit monochromatic um, and I do have it, you know, kind of messy right now. Um, but I am obsessed with ribbons and uh, making bows. So I hope you're here for it. I hope you love making bows. <laughs> if so, then you're in super good company. Um, but I always see these really pretty ribbons and a lot of times they're super expensive and I either have to wait until it goes on sale half off or by the time I get back there, they don't have any more. Am I speaking to the choir? Like literally. Um, Michelle, I am so much better. Thank you so much for asking. Got to get my coffee in though. So I want to show you how you can make your own ribbon like personalized. So I'm going to just start with this just regular uh, wired, it's just some ribbon that I, it's actually scrap piece of ribbon I had from a wreath a while back, but it's really plain, a plain Jane, you know, ribbon, but we're going to bring it up a notch with some of this Dollar Tree ribbon. So when you are at the Dollar Tree or any dollar store, or you are at Hobby Lobby and it's on half price, whenever you can find yourself some really a good deal on um, ribbon, then grab it. So this I thought was super cute. It just is about lemons. It says zest for life, sweetness. Um, what does it say? When life gives you lemons, sweeten it with gratitude. I love that. When life gives you lemons, sweeten it with gratitude. All right, zest uh, for life. Do, do, do. I can't read the yellow from backwards and far away. Lemons make lemonade, zest for life. Um, it's just a really cute little sayings ribbon. Now, there are tons of cute ribbons out there. So whenever you find one, grab it and let's show you how to make your own ribbon. So I'm just kind of eyeballing it to see if it matches the length of this one. And all I'm going to do is cut me a piece off to match this. All right. And now we're going to glue it together. That is it, y'all. That is my secret. And I make some of the cutest personalized ribbon by just taking ribbon like that and personalizing it. I mean, personalizing it with its own. I need to grab this too, y'all. Isn't this one cute? I'm totally obsessed, y'all, with all the different ribbons. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay. But we're going to make a really cute bow and we're going to make our own ribbon first. So if you're just hopping on, hello, let me know in the comments below that you are letting me know. Rosa, you're everywhere this morning. <laughs> she started on YouTube and now she's on Facebook. Hello, Miss Sandra. I'm so gl glad you were able to see us um, and join us. And sprinkling. Yes, Gail. I do this all the time. So let's get started. I'm literally just going to glue this down. Now the key is not to just go nuts with the glue. You just want to add a little bit of glue, just enough to make it stick. And you want to try to keep it in the center. So let me get a sip of coffee for courage. Good morning, Vicki. Good morning, Amelia. I'm so glad you could join us. Cindy, welcome, first time watcher. We love our first time watchers. 
you are here on a special day. We are making a bow. And for, to for today, we are actually um, making our own ribbon for the bow. And I'm going to point the camera down in a second because I feel like it's not close enough to the project. And that drives me nuts, y'all, when I'm trying to see something and I cannot see it. So I will, I'm going to um, point this down for a sec. And then once we get this all um, glued together, then I will point it back up. Sound good? All right, here we are. This way you can see a little better what I am doing. Just making sure it still, it still goes all the way. Now the key is to go in little bitty sections because um, if it dries before you get it down, it's not gonna stick. I mean, obviously, obviously. My daughter taught me how to say that the right way, y'all. Obviously. She's 19, so there is that. All right, she teaches me all the important things in life, right? I'm gonna peel this up a little bit because I feel like it's not straight. There we go. All right, let's get a little more glue on here. I might even do a smaller section. This is so easy, you guys, and it makes it where you can have an unlimited type of um, ribbon to work with for your bows. Now, a little bit's getting on here, but I, I love picking it off. <laughs> it's my guilty pleasure. I will tell you, that is my secret, secret thing I like to do is to get the um, hot glue off my mat. I don't know, I'm strange like that. So I have my ribbon now. And if I wanted to, I could also get my little mini iron out and iron it straight. That might be like a good, a good project for you ladies that have the extra time. <laughs> but um, not I said me. All right. So we have our ribbon. Do you like it? Give me some hearts if you like the ribbon. Julie Myers, first timer. Welcome. Jean Gardner. Yay. I'm so glad you're here. Um, no, it is not fabric glue, Betty. That is just regular, regular, plain old um, hot glue. Um, Tony McGee, we are making our own ribbon for our bow that we're making next. All right, so I'm just going to mermaid tail or dog ear this real quick, ladies. So now I have, let me get, I was trying to avoid cutting the wire part with my good scissors. Because <laughs> we know that's not really healthy for your scissors, right? Um, anyway, so I've got this all mermaid tailed. And now I've got personalized ribbon. All right. I'm going to show you guys another trick really quickly. Yay, Michelle. Lo I'm love that you caught me too. Thank you for the hearts, Tony. If you are on Facebook, thank you so much for the stars. Y'all are just absolute dolls. So I'm just going to take this um, deco mesh because this is a little trick as well. I'm just going to measure out, if you want to measure it, about six inches, okay? So this is about six inches. And I'm just going to use my rotary cutter. to cut this down the center-ish. Isn't that so much fun, y'all? Isn't that so much fun? Let me make sure six inches was enough. Oh yeah, oh yeah. So we're just rolling it up in a little curl, all right? Just a little curl. So I'm gonna do two of those. And you do not have to do this for every bow. And it really does depend on your project um, specifically. love using the rotary cutter guys. I will link one below in case you do not already have one, but it is great for deco mesh. Okay. What we're doing with these is making these little tiny curls. All righty. Let me know you guys are following me so far. We've made our own ribbon and we're making our own little curls. 
just making two of these and then I'm going to crisscross them. Okay. I'm going to roll them as tight as I can get them. They're not getting quite as tight as I like. There we go. One, come on, tight, tight, tight. And two. And I am crisscrossing them right in the middle. And then I'm going to use just a regular little zip tie. Okay. Just to get them, get them situated, make them stay still. And then this little piece of goodness becomes my secret weapon for creating height on my bow. Okay. So now I can add this to any bow on place this underneath it and it's going to lift my bow up off the project. Um, did you get that? Where did I get the deco mesh? Um, you can find it at the dollar stores. It really doesn't matter the, you know, how great it is. If you're just using it for this, uh, purpose, which is just like a little riser for your bow. Um, if you're actually making a, a wreath or something you were going to sell, I would definitely make sure that it was quality deco mesh. Um, but again, for our purposes, just for lifting up our bow, I think it's just fine. All right. Now we're going to get to the good part. Now we're going to make the, we're going to assemble the bow. This is, um, just some dollar tree ribbon. Um, it was actually back at Christmas time, right after Christmas when it was the first time ever I'd seen this, but the dollar tree let us have this stuff at half off. <laughs> so instead of $3 at the dollar tree plus it was a dollar 50. And this is really super wide. Um, four inch, it's four inch, uh, Buffalo check ribbon, you guys. And I'm going to get my regular scissors. I really hate to mess, mess up my fabric scissors all the time. So just kind of get this started, open up and we are going to get my bow maker. If you are new to me, I do have a video on how to make one of these for yourself, $2 and you have yourself a little handy bow maker. Um, so I'm just going to use this to help me keep my bow straight while we assemble it. Now I'm just going to make a really simple, simple, simple bow. Again, you start it with the corners. See how it's just at the corners and then whatever size loop that you want. I'm going to do that size loop. Okay. And I'm actually going to turn this whole thing over. Sorry. I'm trying to do it upside down and backwards <laughs> and it makes it a little bit difficult. And I'm so much lower y'all than my table. I can't even see over it just so you know. And then you're going to flip it over. I have an entire video on how to make these bows. And then I just kind of eyeball that my um, other hoop is about the same and it looks to be about the same. I'm going to make it just a little bit bigger. And then I'm going to cut this off. And ultimately I'm going to dovetail both of these. Boom. And boom. So we have dovetailed little pieces for this bow so far. And now we're going to layer it with our personalized ribbon. I'm going to start the opposite side. You see how this is over on top. I'm going to start on the opposite side, lay my ribbon down in here, face up preferably. <laughs> and now it's like that. I'm going to twist my ribbon over. It needs to be wired. You guys, if I didn't mention it, And we're going to pinch it and put it down in the bow maker. 
Now on this side, see how it's face up? I need to twist it over, twisted it over. Now it's face up. I can put, teach it, put it back down in here. And she's too long. I'll make this a little bit bigger y'all so that we use all this ribbon. I don't want to, I don't want to waste any of it. We went to all the trouble to make it personalized. I want to make sure we use it all. Okay. Stay with me. Stay with me. We may not be able to use every single bit of it, y'all, but this is where we're at. We've got the first layer is the... Sorry about that. The first layer is the little buffalo check. The second layer is the um, personalized ribbon. And then for a final layer, I just want to add a little something extra. So I'm going to add some of this that we grabbed at the last minute. Just a different size ribbon with just a little more yellow. And all I'm going to do with this is just put it in here straight like it is. But I do want it. I do want it at a slant. So I'm going to do a few of these. Stay with me. We got this. We got this girls. She's going to be so pretty. I think a third one of these would be really good. And I'm trying to decide if I want maybe one more buffalo check. Yeah, I think I do. So, and I actually might rearrange that real quick. So hang tight. It is so beautiful here today in North Texas. I'm telling you what. Actually, I'm going to leave this on top. I like it. I like it. And one across this way. Doesn't matter which direction you do your slats. Okay, let's get a, another zip tie. Just another little zip tie. And I'm going to fish this underneath all of my ribbon. I'm actually going to lift it all up a little bit just to get underneath here. There we go. Find the underneath. Hope that your zip ties turn the right direction, which it was. And I've got this off of here. I'm going to spin the zip tie around to the back of my bow and tighten it. Yay, she's tight. All right, let's fluff her. I meant to add my uh, riser at the same time, but I can add it after the fact. It's not a problem. My gosh, it's so cute. Hold on. My friend, hang tight. Just fluffing out the tails a little bit. And you know what? That tail's a little bit larger, but I know what I, I know what we're gonna do. Ha <laughs> ha. Love it. Love, love, love it. Okay, here's our riser, and I'll show you what you do with this. Normally I would have uh, zip tied it at the same exact time, but now I can actually take another zip tie and zip tie them together. Or like right this second, I'm just going to thread it through so that it's together. See that riser there? That's going to lift up our bow off of wherever we have it. If we have it on a wreath or a package or I'm going to cut these a little bit shorter. Because I want them just to be a little bit spiky. That one's fine. Okay. All right. Here's where we, where we are. I'll pull the camera up so you can see it a little bit better. 
But first, I want to glue this down and I want you to be able to see it. So you see how this tail is a little bit shorter than this one? This one's really long. I'm going to, I'm going to actually raise. I need to zip tie these two together real quick, y'all. Forgive me. I'm going to take off my zip tie tail. Add this other zip tie underneath. If a job's worth doing, it's worth doing right. Can't you hear your mother, your grandmother? Any type of motherly person telling you that? <laughs> Did someone used to tell you that all the time? Just putting that underneath there, getting it secured like I should have done. And then let me glue this down and show you what I'm talking about. Just going to put a little dot of glue. Let me see where I want it. Yeah, right here. And make it finish right at the same spot as the other one. Just letting it glue for a second dry, whatever, adhere. Oh my word, you guys, this is so precious. And you could glue this one down too if you wanted to, but I don't really think it needs it. I'm going to lift the camera up so you can see it. I think you're going to absolutely love this bow as much as I am. Um, hang tight. How can I get this where you can see it? Okay, hold up. Here we go. Here we go. Are you here for it? Are you ready? Give me some hearts if you're ready. Oh my goodness. So cute. I know it's a little wrinkly, but listen, so are we. <laughs> so here's the piece that we glued down. Oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you. This is gonna be perfect. And now listen, I'm not done with this. I'm just showing you where we are so far, but I have one more thing to do to it. So cute. This riser in the back is perfect for puffing it up. And I might bring my buffalo check ribbon out a little bit. There we go. All right, let's get the little finishing touch. You guys that have followed me for a while know that I like to finish my bows with a little bit of something shiny, just a little bit of something shiny. And so I have two choices for us. Which do we want to use on the center of our bow? The gold daisy, let me show you. Or the medallion. Oh my goodness. They're both so cute. Gold, pearl. Get over there. I'm gonna have to short, I'm gonna shorten you and that way you won't get in my way. There. This is the gold daisy. And then this is the, the medallion, the silver, silver medallion. Silver, silver, medallion, pearl, pearl. Okay. Looks like we might have a tie. Daisy, both are beautiful. Dawn Ayers, she's like, both are beautiful. Um, all right, we're gonna go with the gold daisy for now uh, because it will um, pin. Do you see how it's got like a little pin? And I will put a link below with um, where I get these so that you um, can grab some for yourself if you want. But I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna actually just pin this right through the zip tie, okay? Right where this zip tie is. 
I'm going to just weave it through and then keep it above, above the fray. Come on. And then hook it there. Just takes a little skill and patience. And then you have your centerpiece onto the bow. My goodness, she is a lemon. No, she's a peach. She's beautiful. All right, you can't see that well because I am holding it up. But I will take a picture of her in a little bit. And I will... I will put it up in my stories for you guys. So I hope that you enjoyed making her with me. Um, I call her her. Um, thank you so much. Irma loves it. Um, Yvonne loves it. Monique says it's beautiful. Hey, Michelle, she's de design and vine. She thinks it's um, great, I'm assuming. <laughs> All right. You guys have a wonderful Wednesday, and I will meet you back here in the morning for day four of the 100 Days of Lives. Mwah, love you.